Guys, what is going on in the whole world? Since when? I am baffled by this. Don't get me wrong. I am enjoying this. I love it. But I also have some skepticism. So Chrome, Chromium devs to be particular, they want to enable raw TCP and UDP in the browsers. Let's talk about Oh my god, I can't. I can't. That's disgust. So guys, this is the the, re, the register uh, article published August 22. Was it what? What is it? What is today? Saturday. Today it was published today. I just got it. What? I was I was surprised. By the way, guys, I really encourage you to follow those guys. They write amazing interesting article when it comes to software they have pretty much everything but i'm interested in the software news because this is a software channel but chrome is enabling raw tcp and raw udp connections and this is the this is the new api they're working on it's called raw socket api or they get called direct socket api i i don't know what this i have no words I really have no words. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, guys. For the longest time, we know what browsers are built on top. They're built on top of the HTTP protocol. So we build the HTTP protocol as a result, and the browser uses the HTTP protocol to communicate with any server that supports uh, HTTP protocol, which we call them web servers, right? This, a new requirement spawn to, to, I'm just going through the timeline now. A new requirement has been spawned to, to actually make bidirectional real-time communication, which the HTTP protocol does not support by default. Talking about the one one days. It's a request response system so what if you're building a chatting application where you're responding stuff so we came up with server site event server sent events which is still if you think about it, just http protocol right with 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 this client still needed to make one request and the rest of the response will continue just getting streamed right that's why it's called events or streams but now nah, that wasn't enough we need bidirectional communication without any um, uh, without any restrictions. So it was proposed at one point to expose the raw socket API. Just, just why are we doing these silly things? I want to build a chatting application in my browser. Just, just expose the TCP because everything is on top of TCP and UDP, right? You cannot build anything below that. HTTP is built on TCP, so just expose that. And the, the browser vendors and everyone said no because of security reasons. Now, we can argue what are those security reasons because is it, you can just do so much with TCP, guys. So much. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So, they expose WebSockets. WebSockets solve most of our problems. We can do pretty much everything with WebSockets as long as the target server supports that. But then... Chrome team says, apparently there are requirements to support just any device that talks TCP. And that's, that's basically the requirement they're pushing. They're pushing for a raw socket API. L let, me, let me say this again. Raw socket, socket API. So you will be able to open a TCP connection from your Chrome to a server that is listening. Not any, not, not listening on particular protocol, just listening. You can practically tell net into this thing and build anything. The engineer in me loves this. I am in love. I love this stuff. The amount of application I can build, oh my God. I can connect to my Postgres database from Chrome. Boof. I don't need a, a third tier anymore. 
I can connect to my Oracle database from Chrome. I don't know why would you do that, but I can build basically a browser app to, that connects to the database directly. As a backend engineer, I'm pumped. I love this stuff. You can practically SSH to an SSH server from Chrome by building that. It is, the engineer in me is pumped. The security skeptic is afraid. Because guys, think about all the security stuff that we built in the HTTP. I say we, I didn't, I didn't do jack shit. <laughs> but look at all the work we did for the, for the security, to prevent security. We have cross-origin resource sharing. So we don't let you as a browser uh, send stuff to other party if that party doesn't allow it. We, we have content security policy. We don't allow you to consume URLs that you're not supposed to consume if this is the page. So we built for 20, 25 years, whatever the web have been born, we built so much security mechanisms. And we're turning it all off by providing this API. So that, that I don't know what to think, to be honest, guys. I have no idea what to think. I don't know what to think. I just love it. But look look at some of the stuff that, quote-unquote, worries the Chrome Chromium team, right? They're worried about man-in-the-middle attack that injects socket API calls into a web page or hijacks. Duh. You're worried just about that? Sheesh. Okay. I just I can just basically inject a socket connection that basically sends their entire content to somewhere else, right? That's an XSS, right? Uh, Cross-site scripting. But again, you need some finesse to do that, I guess, to XSS this thing. I talked about the XSS, guys. Check out this video here. Web apps making connections or conducting uh, DDoS attacks without the user knowledge. I guess you can do that with WebSockets. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, DDoS. I'm sorry. Yes, because you have raw level socket access, you will be able to do a sin flooding attack. Sin flooding. I, my accent is thick. I'm sorry, my friends, because Arab accent, you know. Yes, what to do? That was Russian. I don't... Okay. Yeah, so if you have access to a raw TCP, then you can do... I don't know if they are planning to do at that raw level. That would be dangerous. But you can do a sin and then just... Meh, so thank you. Sin and then meh. Sin and then meh. Just ignore the, the acknowledgement. Don't don't reply to the sin act, right? And we talked about sin floods and all that garbage to, Check out these videos right here. So, yeah. My God. You can do a DDoS. They're right. Yeah, I guess you can do the DDoS. This is a DDoS uh, sin flooding uh, by doing TCP half opens. But again, I don't know. This, I have so many questions to the Chrome team. Will you be able to, to, to have the, uh, the, the access to the raw sockets? Because they say raw sockets. I'm assuming it, the applications are endless, but the security aspects are odd. I don't know if they allowed it on the Chromium. What is this called? The desktop version that is like bundled, standalone, not the official browser. I would be fine with that. All right, bypassing third-party course policies. Duh! I can practically build my own HTTP client on top of the raw socket API and then use that to make pretty much any request bypassing everything that the browser have, right? Nothing's stopping me from doing that. I'm gonna build it on top of you, right? I have to worry about the protocol. Obviously, this is not easy, but you can imagine that people will build that such thing. They will just strip out all the cookies, strip out all the course policies, strip out all the CC, CSPs, everything. Third party in frames or a script that initiates connections. Well, yeah. Covert DNS manipulation to expose 
resources uh, guys we don't need to expose anyone this is YouTube already 2019 and 22 AMD did a pretty good job no more exposing cover DNS behind a firewall uh, yeah you can basically bypass pretty much everything right you don't have to go through the proxy will you bypass the browser proxy I have no idea this is actually a good question using API to violate corporate policies I don't know what that means well look at this look at this so so the the, the software engineer what's his name uh, Alex Russell the Google senior staff software engineer Alex said know that this capability is already available in Chrome app extension by the way I did not know that I gotta I gotta say I, I gotta uh, say honest I did not know that they're available pretty neat uh, and I think they sh they s still should remain as an extension if I have an extension, why do you need to build it in the in the core browser? I don't know. I don't know what's the use case, to be honest. What the heck is the use case to, to expose this? But again, guys, I love it. You know, you see myself, I'm fl flipping about this thing. And in no scenario will we be handing <laughs> out like candy to any of us that ask nicely. The API will come with a high a barrier, with a higher barrier to use. Higher barrier to use. I don't know. So, so like it's like a geolocation. Oh, this application wants to use sockets. Would you like to allow it? I, I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't mind any of that stuff, guys. To be honest, if this, if the user knows about it and accept it, let the user choose what the, what the, whatever the hell they want. This is a free country. This is the U.S. of A, babes. You can do whatever you want. If the user, if the user chooses to click and say, yeah babes i want it why not mozilla stuff security engine i'm following her by the way i love her tweet she was skeptical she's like hmm i shall definitely be saving this for a good intentions archive <laughs> yeah look at this this is showing you the demo where you can just put an address and just connect just ssh as long as you build the ssh protocol and you can see this people will flood to building all the kind of protocols on top of this yeah guys yeah yeah this is the article yeah i'll leave it below by the way guys for you to read but i don't know what to think about this it's gonna be called direct sockets api and people will be confused as f web developers will be confused because like what what is this versus this should i use this versus this you can you can start seeing all these questions. Oh, I forgot to talk about WebRTC, by the way, guys. Yeah, WebRTC is also exposed. You can you can say that WebRTC is a web protocol. I I don't know if it's on top of HTTP though. I don't think so. But yeah, it uses the web to gain access, just like WebSockets uses the upgrade protocol and and hijacks the underlying TCP connection to to kind of inject stuff. Right. So for the longest time, the browser creates the TCP connection. And for us, in WebSocket, we ask the browser, yo, browser, sup, can I use your socket, babe? Right. And 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 it says the server says, yo, show uh, for for shizzle. And then the browser will say, yeah, OK, let's use the socket. And then you will just playing on the socket. Obviously, in HTTP2, this is a complete waste. Right. Because that socket is so expensive and we're using so much streams on top of that so hijacking the whole socket is an extreme waste so that's why there is another uh, rfc on websocket why am i talking about this uh, and there are other rfc on the websocket to actually hijack just one stream i love this low level elegant designs and we're just throwing everything it's like someone new just says like why the heck they're doing this just just give them a hurrah to socket api we don't want to do all of that stuff and and i guess my that might be the reason just like people gave up of extending sock web sockets and stuff and and all the http protocols said if someone want to do uh some 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 kinky stuff with the with with the http or whatever protocol they can just use the raw socket API. give them that again i don't think i'm against that uh udp that's right you can do udp you can do you can build a dns essentially query 
oh my god this is the beauty of this you can do so much stuff but yeah i'm not against it i just i'm just finding it odd and the the, the leadership of this project is questionable i'm not gonna say questionable it's not wrong or wrong word but it's it's odd i don't know where they are going with this i don't know why now why didn't you just expose this like 10 years ago and save us so much time and money why you, did you just not expose this long time ago you didn't you wouldn't have you you wouldn't need web sockets right i just don't know what what is going on there that's my question but chromium team i love it je ne sais what's the je je m'appelle je t'aime je m'appelle <laughs> all right thank you so much uh guys what do you guys think in the comment section below let me know what do you think about this do you are you against it are you uh, are you with it are you against it like this like this video if you like it right in the comment section below i'm gonna see you on the next one you guys stay wow awesome i don't know what happened there i'm printing <laughs> goodbye